What is going on guys? It is day six of Rock Bounce Don. Rock Bounce Don is almost coming to an end. I got a special video for you tomorrow. We got some rock bouncing with a, uh, well, you'll see. But today we got Blue, uh, yeah, Blue Dream going out testing with some new modifications I talked about in a earlier video. Well, if you haven't guessed it, you'll figure out what my modifications are today. Enjoy and uh, let's go rock bounce. What is going on everybody? Hopefully everybody's enjoying all the rock bouncing content. There is more coming. We are down here with Blue Dream today. I did some changes to it, so I'm gonna tell you about those and then we're gonna go hit the hills. Well, here we have Blue Dream. For those that may be new to the channel, this is a Keller RC Performance chassis. Super shafty axles, super shafty rear trailing arms. I made the rest of the links. Uh, shift servo, Mamba system, 4S. That's the basic breakdown. There's a bunch of videos if you want to hear more about it. But today we're talking about the changes that I've made to it since the last time you guys have seen it. And it might be kind of obvious, but the rear end is an inch longer. Uh, I made, well, I didn't make anything. Well, I made the rear wings. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so I put M4, I switched it over to M4 rod end, which the rest of my links were M4 already, but my trailing arms were M3 rod ends. So I switched them out for M4 and that gave me a little bit more length, which I ended up adding about an inch to it. So I had to make some more, uh, some new upper links for it. So now we got about an inch longer. Uh, Blue Dream 6 sits at about 16 and a half inches. From before, it was probably a little bit short of uh, 16, maybe 15 and a half, maybe a little bit shorter. But uh, so we gained about an inch, and I also put uh, some stiffer rear springs. I changed out the spring rates, put the stiffer ones in there because me moving that back put more leverage on the shocks, and it was sitting super low before, and it was almost bottoming out. So we made that a little stiffer front end still the same but uh we're gonna go attack some of the hills yeah we're gonna make use of this annoying tree that everybody smacks their head on and give you guys kind of an overview and you'll be able to see uh some unedited footage if i make it or not if i make it we'll get some slow-mo shots so it's about an inch longer than Blue Dream, but I guess that big of an inch really makes that big of a difference. That's what she said. Hi. I do have a crunchy uh, front end. It's my bevel gear and pinion. They're old. It's probably slip. Well, it is slipping. 
So, if you hear some crunchy sounds, that's what it is. Something looks a little off. Oh, I had a feeling that was going to happen. I think we're continuing this video another day. So when I made the links, I was kind of running short on metal. And this one's completely solid all the way through, meaning that it's a piece of brake line with a piece of solid rod all the way through so I could thread onto it. This one is solid except for like a little bit because I ran out of metal so yeah I guess I'm remaking one of the links and uh, going to the hardware store and getting some more metal that I didn't really feel like buying for that much see if we can crawl out of here one-handed driving slightly deformed link Alright guys, it is a new day and we have some new links again, except this time I wasn't cheap. I actually went to the hardware store and got some solid rod, remade them, did them the right way. So they should definitely not break anymore. And uh, we're going to play on this for a quick second. I'm going to see if I can make it. If we can't make it, we're going to move on before I break it again. And this ends up being a really short video. I guess we're gonna give uh, water hazard a try, which isn't really all that hard. I would get the water going, but my water delivery system kind of broke over the winter, so I gotta fix that. <laughs> Well, we made our way up to the top of the park over to Main Mountain and step your game up. Uh, probably gonna stay off of Main Mountain only because you can't, probably can't see it on camera, but everybody that knows this hill, there's a wood staircase up there and it's falling apart and there's nails sticking out of it. So I'd rather not rip one of my tires, but we're gonna play on these two hills. This is kind of one of everybody's favorite hills. Step your game up. One way to do it. Try to do it the right way this time. One last time, let's live for something. I can feel my blood, it's rushing. This ain't goodbye. We'll be back someday. Control of our 
Oh, now you can see why I didn't go up uh, Main Mountain. A lot of nails sticking out. I'd rather not get a hole in my brand new tires. Well, we're gonna come over to the bypass hill, the one hill that doesn't get used all that much. Well, that's gonna do it guys. Boo Dream has done awesome. I definitely noticed the inch difference or making it a little bit longer. Definitely can notice that because it makes it up uh, some of the other hills a little easier. I mean, obviously I struggled on Ninja Please a little bit, but I mean, hey, it's done better than what it's done before. Definitely uh, making it a little longer, definitely helped it out. Uh, I feel like I did make the rear end stiffer and it seems about what it was before, even though, I don't know if that makes sense. It seems uh, about the same as what it was before, even though it's an inch longer. I put stiffer shocks in there because I made it an inch longer, put more leverage on it. So that was kind of my reasoning for that, but it seems to work out pretty good. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed all the rock bouncing. There's plenty more rock bouncing content coming. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you on the next one. Later. Well, I know I said I wasn't going to hit Main Mountain, but I only went up to the halfway point, so here's a little bit of extra footage.